So today we're gonna take our bits of the original models of the original model and we're gonna put them together into the motorized version like <laughs> like this one. So I'm gonna start with the motors first and then uh, continue to the rest of the chassis. One thing I also uh, changed is that the the CV joints now used uh, in the hubs are the bigger ones from the off-roader set because they are much stronger as we found out during testing and this will allow us to put more power to the wheels. I'm also going to change the gear ratio a bit so now we're going to have a 1 to 1 gear ratio from the motors so we should get more uh, more speed because we had plenty of torque with the old gear ratio. Okay, so let's begin. So we made the first front axle, everything is uh, ready and functional. Like I mentioned before, I'm using the larger CV joints instead of the original ones because they can provide uh, much better, uh, they are much better at higher powers that these new motors actually generate. So now with the front axle done, I think I'm gonna go build the rear and then we're gonna connect them both together to form the basic chassis.
so the rear of the chassis is more or less done the rear suspension and drive the fake engine is also ready and we also have the front end front rear uh, front suspension is ready so we just need to join them together and start building the actual chassis
so this is the progress for today we are more or less finished with the basic chassis and the rear section is almost ready and the only thing left is uh, motorizing the doors uh, making the lights shine and finishing the rest of the body so hopefully this model should be finished soon in a couple of uh, sessions thanks for watching and goodbye